This money playing trips gave me absolute hell. What's going on guys? Welcome back to a Madden 24 Mutt video. This was my first game matched up in the tournament and man was it a hell game. My opponent kept running this wide post tight end route out of trips tight end and I had no idea what to do against it. Alright guys, here we go. We are playing grass enthusiasts. This guy, he's an up and coming player, new player. If you haven't already heard of him, you, I'm sure you're going to hear about, more about him. He's already been playing in the Gulag tournaments, all the little undercover, uh, underground, all the online tournaments he's been matching up in them. And here we go. This is the first game of the day, uh, ladders. Uh, I'm currently 0-0. Zero zero. Over the course of the weekend, I played quite a few ladder games. I did unfortunately not get top 32. I think I missed out. But I got top 43. But here we go. We got CJ Stroud. I, I don't know who to use at QB, man. Please let me know who you're using. I tried Josh Allen. He's pretty good. I use CJ Stroud. See right here, third and three early. And we try to go with the Ocho Cinco outside apprentice post. Get bagged. End up getting it with Marcus, excuse me, Franco Harris. I wanted to say Marcus Allen because he wore number 32. But nah, that Franco's insane. But yeah, this guy so far, he's been on dollar. That's why I'm trying to run the ball, man. If you're in dollar, you're going to have to show me you can stop the run. So far, so good for him. You know, I'm on a fourth and what is it two right here fourth and three decide to end up passing we have r1 open we have circle open and we get shedded by big sap at dt and here we go here is the money play that you guys wanted to see uh, i forgot what play that is but that's that trips tight end post i'm gonna rewind it real quick and see right here look at kyle pitts he's gonna just absolutely whoop my safety cameron curl and there he goes to the baja I want to call that like trip side and I forgot what the play is called, but it has a corner rock going to the left that inverted like kind of post, like a double post to the tight end um, on the tight end. And man, it absolutely fries man coverage. Probably the best man beating route in the game. You're going to see more of it pretty soon. Um, after this game, I'm like, bro, do I need to run trips? Because this offense is looking mad high powered. Um, I, I believe he was in the New England Patriots playbook. One of my top five, in my opinion, playbooks of Madden. It's always top five. It's got too many forms. It's right here. We're already on another third and six. So like I said, this is my first game on. You know, I had a couple eye boogies in my eye. See right here, we throw a book. Uh, he ends up not catching it. And, you know, it's a little tough. We go back to our staple verticals and end up converting it. So, yeah, like I said, in this gameplay, I was definitely, you know, uh, not really warmed up. Kind of fresh on the game. Had just picked up a few new legends. Uh, had to see how they were playing, right? This is my first game with a bunch of them. Franco Harris, Devin Hester, Sherman, and that Seahawks theme team. So I had to make sure, you know, these guys are up for the task. It's right here, another fourth and two. Um, and what do we do? What do we do? We end up throwing a dot, but guess what? Guy just said Devin Hester ends up dropping it. So seven or zero, and he gets ball, and now he's trying to run. That's one thing about trips that always gets me is that that run, you can get yards on it right here corner route verticals and man there it goes this this trips is too high powered if you run man coverage on it good luck because you're gonna have a long game uh that's ocho cinco to the baja i accidentally had jordan love or julian love at safety at cornerback right there because i have that seahawks theme team if you want to see some seahawks theme team gameplay let me know and i will deliver on it whether it's you know me breaking down my team some tiktok clips i got you with that content i've been little you know I've been a little uh, delayed with the content, but you know, it's for obvious reasons. We have a tourney right off the gate and you know, I'm gonna put my focus on there because obviously at the end of the day, that's where my heart is at. I love you guys as well. And I, that's why I'm dropping this content, but man, it's, I gotta get right for these tourneys. And I know you guys know what I'm talking about. It's right here, he's in the dollar. We're starting to cook up. We found a play he doesn't like out of this Jets tour. Like I said, it was, a, it was a rough start, but it's all good. We're gonna start picking it up right now. It's right there. There goes Franco. Can we Baja this? Can we crib this? Great juke to the inside. If you aren't spamming the juke move, best ju move in the game. It's better than the spin move. It's better than the journal. It's right here. Kyle Pitts gets us to the six yard line. CJ Stroud is absolutely cooking up right now on this drive. And there goes Franco once more down to the one. And here, you know, it's almost a guarantee you're going to score. He ends up run committing. We have a nice open read. And guess what? We drop it. Man, I, I was thinking my opponent right there. He ran commit. I wanted a high ball, and they just said, no, you're not going to do that. You're going to drop your open high balls. We're back at it again, like in a few couple videos ago. We, I was talking about it. It's right here. This is honestly, I threw it pretty late. Uh, I just couldn't read what that zone was going to do underneath it. Bad timing, bad, you know, late read. It was open, though, um, I want to say. But who knows? He might have picked it off with whoever that was. Right here, user and junior sale. Look at that tight end post. Look how much stress I put on him. I double teamed him. If you want to rewind that you can but like that tight end post i'm like all right i seen it once i don't i need it i, I gotta see it again and you know what we do we try to send the heat and there he goes i don't know why he didn't score 
I guess he was trying to clock me, but once more, I'm going to show this play. And if you run New England trips, this is the play you're going to be getting versus man coverage. Yeah, Cameron Curl is probably not the best guy to put there. I should have put Ed Reed, maybe Sherman, but it doesn't matter. He's, what, three for three, I think that just said, with like a, a bunch of yards and I think two touchdowns, one touchdown. Um, and, you know, now he's in a great spot to clock this game out. It's already a third and seven because he ran too many times. And he finally hits us with a non you know, tight end post or non-verticals play. Those are the two my main plays in that playbook. Um, and he ends up not, you know, throwing it. Right here, he goes RPO, um, and it gets down to the one-yard line. And, you know, once more, he's going to go, I think, inside zone right there. We run commit. So, you know, maybe we could hold the door, but he ends up running again. Nice cutback. And Franco, you're just not going to deny that man three or four times in the goal line. And he's going to go up 21-6. to six. So, grass enthusiast. New guy on the scene. Maybe he's played in years prior. I have not seen this gamer tag. He's giving it to me, man. I'm like, all right. You know, this is low-key like a spam, spamming buttons kind of, you know, type of player. At first, I actually thought this was spamming buttons, um, the way he was playing offense. Because spamming, you know, he's not the best on defense. He'll run something like this, where he just tries to make you work up on, up the field. But um, and I'm like, all right, this might be spam, honestly. But it ends up not being him. I think his name is like RJ or something. Right here, we miss our... Free form CJ Stroud is low key selling us right here once more. We're rage calling verticals, trying to get something open. And honestly, he could not defend verticals to save his life. He wasn't manning people up, he was just keeping the zones and trusting them. And I think later on, he ends up switching up to, to a different defense. Right here, R1, deep corner, nice little dot. And like I said, man, it was a little tough for us, but we once we started to figure out what to do, we you know, we were all right. It, may, it really came down to the fact that he was playing amazing offense. And you know, I, I didn't get it. I didn't even sniff a stop. I don't think he has an incompletion yet in this gameplay. Right here, tight end once more to Kyle Pitts. I wanted to s slow down and stop on the one, as you guys see right there. So he didn't have a chance to get more points. But it's all good. We're just going to have to lock up one time and play some defense. So right here, we're just trying to play some D. Um, th that works for me right there. Uh, ends up having to use a timeout. Only gets, what, two yards? 100% will take that. And man, I need Junior Seau to come up clutch. Right here, he goes to the post one too many times. The Edman Reed picks it off. Pick artist acrobat. Obviously, he doesn't have acrobat, but that was like an acrobat like animation. We hit him with a wide curl, and we're gonna go into half only down by five. So, very, very, very nice way to end the half. He forced that. I had his third there. That tight end post. I'm gonna find out the play for name for you, and I'm, I'm gonna uh, let you know. But that tight end post. Man, it's it's so good, but you know, I had to put a little, you know, he forced that throw in. I had Ed Reed in the third, and honestly, he still could have maybe not thrown a pick on it, but he gets like an under pressure, uh, maybe a, me a messed up, messed up free form, and he leads it too much. So, man, I mean, here we go. That's his first mistake, and ends up going for a pick right here. He's gonna go verticals, and we just had to bag up real quick. He ends up th rolling out for some reason and throwing it like. I don't know where he was throwing. Maybe he had thrown it away, but he had a beat. He had a step on me right here. I, my defensive adjustments messed up, but it doesn't matter. We are going to be able to play lockdown SWAT defense with Woolen. I want to say he had a streak for a touchdown to the tight end right here. He hits us with a dirty corner out. I shaded down. I shaded out. I was pretty pissed because I was ready for that play. Um, that play, you got to, you know, that tight end corner. It's either that or the post. You got to put some stress on whatever one it is um, right there. I was expecting the post. Right here, he has the tight end post. I shaded down. I had made sure no way, you know, he was going to get over uh, the top of me. So I guess the shade down man did a good job. Right here, he throws it right at our user and junior stay out. If you were thinking about using him with that lurker, you know, you thought it was cute. You thought it was nice. Nah, bro. Look at that play. Look at that play right over my head. And I mean, that just goes to show like, bro, that could have definitely been a pick right here. We're going to have to try to play red zone D, but... You know, he's been cooking right here, uh, manned up some guys. He had a couple of people open off the bump, off the initials, but he had messes up. He should have taken off when he had the chance. Aiden Hutchinson comes up huge. Right here, we're going to go Mabel defense, manned up our guys, had a couple, you know, zones out there, and big Warren Sapp comes through for the boy one time. Contains did their job, and we will take that. We finally got a stop, I guess you could say. Um, the one before half was definitely crew nice and uh Change the game, but that one right there, not giving up seven, was such a big W. And I'm starting to slow slow him down. And you see right there, you know, his first few drives were just easy drives. Right here, we're gonna hit Franco Harris with that running back apprentice angle route, and we're starting to cook up, man. I'm telling you, we're gonna we're gonna start turning up right here on the offensive side of things. 
flood. He ends up PIing our guy. We get a fortunate break. Sometimes you need a little fluke, right? We definitely got a little lucky in this game, especially like the Sherman drop pick in the first half. I'd end up not scoring on it, but you know, it's still a couple of breaks that went our way. Illegal contact, they gotta fix that, man. There's been too many times where, you know, I, I play phenomenal defense and I accidentally maybe like run in their way, but it's not, I don't know, maybe. Uh, like, l let me know what you guys think about the PIs and the uh, illegal contacts. Right here, definitely another fortunate play. Five yard in route ends up going for what, 12 yards? Definitely a, a pretty rage inducing play. Gonna hit Devin Hester, one of the verticals crosser right here to the five yard line. And we're gonna try to sneak in another play before the fourth quarter because I know it's gonna be a crucial fourth quarter. End up not getting any yards. Word of the wise, if you are down in the goal line, run those RPO runs. The blocking on them are insanely better than uh, just a normal run. I didn't know that this time, but we're gonna go 0-1 trap. And man, this, this, this guy is playing great D. I got 13 rushes for 61 yards. It's just not it. Um, this was a big play. This was a bad user. I'm gonna rewind it. So I ran this corner strike and this he just had to guard this. R1 didn't break open. He ends up not guarding that and man, that, that definitely hurt for him. Right here, we're gonna go back to the play that we threw a pick on earlier, uh, or got deflected on earlier and we throw a pick on it, but it's all good, we swat it down. So that was open, uh, was that open? I don't know, man. I, that probably isn't open. Maybe I can't throw it without a velo camp. That vert hook down there, it's just he's just lurking, man. I don't want to throw it. I could highball it definitely, but you already know I'm going to end up dropping it the way my highballs have been going this year. So um, back to the defensive side of things right here. He's going to force an ill-advised throw, rolling to the right. Sherman, six foot three, 85 man on my team, and he's got pick artists. We're going to try to bounce this out to the outside and crib it. And I'm in a weird spot. You know, I could clock this or I could score. I 100% am like, all right, you know what? I'm going to try to score right here. Uh, I tried to cut it back outside. There was like, there's just no way I was gonna score. Um, and like, and I still couldn't decide. I'm like, all right, am I gonna crib this or I'm gonna score? Look at this play right here. This is like bad stick, good stick at the same time. I'm gonna rewind this Franco Harris to the Baja. But look, I just kind of like stop, wait for my cigar to 68 to pick him up, and from there, you know how the dollar run D goes. Um, if you're not early to the party versus the run and dollar, you're gonna be get seeing crib shots um, all the time. And 24-29, I'm not sure how we got in this position. Grass Enthusiast has been kind of selling the game at this point. I played a few good defensive drives, like holding the three in the red zone, definitely crucial. Getting that pick was more of him selling. Right here, he's gonna try to go back to the verticals route, and he definitely has a step on me, but it doesn't matter. And then he goes no huddle. This is what's been killing me, guys. I need the no huddle to be patched. I actually put it inside deep half this time, but guess what, it doesn't even matter. I, like, I don't even understand. The two times where he had single coverage, he threw it, or he, you know, he, he messed up the throw, ended up not throwing it. The one time I had double coverage, he throws a nasty dot up the seam. So I know that's supposed to be cover two, deep pass, but I don't know how. Right here, he sees the pressure coming in, and he's like, all right, I don't want no parts of this. I'm going to throw it away. Third and eight, Junior Sayo at the user. We're trying to get some pressure. We get nano detected. I know you guys saw that. He throws DK Metcalf on the slant. Javon Kurtz, you got to not get nano detected right there. It definitely hurts right there. Um, two minutes left on the clock, trying to just get a stop. He's going RPO run and falling forward with Franco. This is definitely not the sp spot I want to be. And this is how I kind of knew, like, okay, this guy, I don't know how many years he's been playing. Um, I, don't, I don't think this is spam because, you know, obviously it isn't spam. But big play by Warren Sapp to cause that a fourth and six. It kind of saved some time. But like I was saying, his, his like, clock management and his plays were kind of sus. You know, too many fourth downs, too many clutch sp spots, whereas, like, you know, first and second down, maybe even third down, you know, he's calling a run. So it's kind of how I knew he was playing this pretty well. But like, you know, anytime you get to a fourth down, I don't care what you say, whether you convert it or not, you're not playing it, you know, perfectly. You know, maybe a fourth in inches and you, you got a money run, then sure. But I feel like it's just hard to convert fourth after fourth. Another another thing I'm talking about, third and 14, he goes corner out. My cover two just does not play cover two. I had Woolen out there and that's just a nasty dot at the end of the day. So. You know he he's got he's got raw dots he's got talent uh, he's got potential um this is my first time playing him right here he's gonna try to hit us with it uh like it's just it's just a dead zone right there man if you have to go for two i understand it but don't go for two unless you have a glitch like a rpo or something we were combined 0 for three on a two point uh, attempt at this point i'm like all right i got 50 seconds if i can't get three bro i might have to just you know go down out out of here 
Devin Hester gets open, but bro, this is what I'm talking about. My Devin Hester been dropping open passes, open racks. Thankfully, we go back to the same play and he gives us our QB scramble. But man, that would have been nice to convert. Right here, I want to say he just, I don't know. It looks not open. We end up trying it and it completely is open. Nasty dot to Kyle Pitts. But I see right here, this guy right here, he bumps up. I'm like, all right, bro. I'm throwing this because this is open. If it bumps up and to get, I get throw a pick, it is what it is. I, I don't know how I'm in this game in the first place. He was outperforming me the whole first half. We end up catching it with Kyle Pitts, the best tight end in the game. And at this point, we just got to run the ball, kick our field goal, and get on to the next game. Steal a game, if you want to call it that. We got to make sure we're all right, though. We go no huddle, and he ends up calling the timeout. So I'm like, oh, damn, I messed up. You know, I gave him a little too much time. So at this point, I don't want to run the ball and get the time, you know, taken off the clock. So I'm just like, all right, you know what? I'm just putting two flats. I'm going to wait a little until they shed and throw it away. He ends up shedding. Take off 10, five seconds right there. Ice kick. Kick is up and good. And that's going to take off another four to five seconds. And from here, all we have to do is have a nice kickoff, play some three deep, and we're going to be coming out of here with a win versus the nastiest offense I had played this year, that trips tight end, man. If you want some... If you want some dots, if you've been struggling on offense, go check out that trip side end. Junior Sale finally makes a play. Uh, I, I guess I got to be grateful. I immediately sold him after this gameplay. I'm like, all right, bro, I can't use this guy no more. You know, he's cool in the run game. He gets nice hits. But, man, I cannot use him. But going back to what I said, go run that trip side end out of New England playbook. Guys, if you want to know what this play is called, you see it right here. It's called Y Post. This is in the New England Patriots playbook. So go run it now. It's the de it's definitely the best man beating route in the game, especially cover zero backed off man coverage. But with that being said, shout out to Grass Enthusiast for the hell game. It just showed me how good Trips is again this year. And hopefully it showed you guys that have been struggling a little bit on offense. Cause man, I know this is the easiest game to score the ball in with the no huddles and the quick hikes, but it, you can definitely get lost and not score at times. See right there in that gameplay, I threw like one or two, maybe even three picks at certain spots. Trips will be meta. And I'm telling you, man, that wide post, go run it now before people catch on. That play is absolutely money versus cover zero man coverage. Till next time, guys, I got another MCS ladder gameplay coming up soon. Stay tuned for that. Hell game, down to the wire. You already know how these comp games always go. I'll be catching y'all. Stay up, stay easy, peace.